All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And for this problem, I actually have four option choices. So for A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For B, I have nine to the power of 30. For C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And for D, I have three to the power of 21. So to first start out, let's go through all these option choices and see if they're right or not. So we first have a 27 to the power of 30. And how this likely was resulted in was from adding all the bases and adding all the exponents. So we have nine plus nine plus nine to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 27 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong because this is not the proper way to add exponents. So now going from here, this was likely gotten nine to the power of 30 by keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents. And this again is wrong because this is not the right way to add exponents. Now we have 27 to the power of 10. And this was gone from adding the bases, but keeping the exponent the same. And this again is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents. Now three to the power of 21, which is by process of elimination, the right answer, we're going to see how they got this. So we first start with nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And I'm going to factor out nine to the power of 10. So I get nine to the power of 10 times one plus one plus one, which is equal to nine to the power of 10 times three. And now this is equal to three squared to the power of 10 times three. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of 10 is gonna equal three to the power of 20. And I have this times three to the power of one. So I simply just add the exponents. This is equal to three to the power of 21. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe leave a like and share this to any of your friends or family members. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to eight. So at first glance, this problem may look challenging. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I'll get ln x to the power of x is equal to ln eight. And a helpful property that comes with logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent to the front. So this turns into L b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x. And I can move x to the front. So now I get x times ln x is equal to ln 8. Now from here, I'm going to use another formula. That states that if I have something in the form w of a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. And this is something known as the w Lambert formula. So if I take the w of something in the form a times e to the power of a, it's going to equal a. So In this case, I'm going to rewrite this as ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 8 because x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x. So now I can use this formula. So I'm going to take the w on both sides. So I have w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to what I have to do on one side, I have to do the other side. So I w of ln 8. And 
This simply turns into e to the power of ln x is equal to, or sorry, ln x is equal to w of ln 8. And then now I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8. And e and ln cancel out. So I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8. So this is my value of x. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family members. And I have a lot of problems like these on my channel, so please make sure to go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys for watching.